it might be time for the Vikings to trade Kirk Cousins. There. I said it. <laughs> if you will, let us know how you think about this in the comments. I'm sure, I'm sure everybody has right, We'll dig opinion. into it a little bit more. Um, but with the new regime change, it might be nice to get that fresh start at the most, most important position on the team as well. And honestly, now is the time to do it because Kirk Cousins probably coming off one of his better seasons uh, mm -hmm. of his career, which I know a lot of people are like, why would you then? Well, why would you trade it? Why would you keep him around to compete next year? Mm -hmm. Well, if you can get some picks off the guy and shed that contract, I'm all for it. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do a little uh, little review of the season that was for Kirk Captain Kirk Cousins of the Minnesota Vikings. Um, yeah, I, I like as as I, we both kind of talked about. I thought he played pretty well, well enough for well. win. Obviously, things around him weren't always perfect, which he is one of those guys that needs a perfect situation. But given what he had, he played really well. There's some things that he's never done in his career before, like, like those late game comebacks and moving mm -hmm. around a little mm -hmm. bit. I feel like he took a step forward in his career at 33 years of age. Um, so, I mean, that's one thing that I, I kind of thought was nice to see from him. Uh, what, what, what are, what are your thoughts on, on his, on his season? Yeah. The beginning of the season was awesome. Um, you know, he, we didn't have like the best record in the beginning of the season, but he gave us a chance to win every single game. Uh, there's multiple games where he came down and tied the game or won it for us with two minutes left. We were super hyped about it. We thought for sure, Kirk Cousins has kind of taken that corner to, to become the guy that we were paying him to be. Um, but I would say later on in the season, he kind of dropped off and we'll kind of go in there a little bit more again. Um, you know, it's not just his fault. You know, there's some play calling issues and all that stuff, but we have finished the season eight and eight and he is our quarterback and we're paying him to not be an eight and eight team. In my opinion, even if coaching and stuff isn't the best, right. um, yep. So no, I think I mean it was really good to start, and he he got really nice stats, and we'll go into that. But you know, still that's, that's, lost that's season, no playoffs, and that's, that's your that's quarterback Kirk, there. Like, that's Kirk Cousins' career: five hundred quarterback, good stats, no playoffs. Like that's yeah, that's it. Much. That's it. Man. One playoff win, I guess. Yeah. Um, but speaking of those stats, let's let's kind of let's, let's let's dive into those stats of Kirk Cousins a little bit here. Um, so as we talked about. Very solid overall, honestly. Yeah. Like, if you look at this, like, this looks like a playoff quarterback, doesn't it? Yeah. 66.3 uh, completions, 4,221 yards, 248 per. Touchdowns, 33 to 7 interceptions. Good. And 52 QBR is kind of low, but whatever. And then the an 88.2 PFF <laughs> is very good, actually. Um, it's good for 14th, but that's still really high. There's a lot of pretty high P P PFF scores this year for quarterbacks. And I think his was even above Mahomes. So, yeah. I mean, overall, he had the stats that, right. and that you're looking for in a franchise quarterback. There's right. no question about that. Yeah, and the biggest thing with those stats is, I mean, in seasons past, it's fair to say that Kirk Cousins was the stat padding garbage time quarterback. You know, that's where he, his teams were always losing and he had to bring them back into it, obviously with the prevent defenses and stuff. But a lot, like, I, there is not one game where – he had any garbage time stats. Most of these stats were like used to bring us back into games. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that's another place where I really feel like he stepped up and the team kind of stepped up as we were in a lot of these games as is, we won't get into that again. It's, it's well talked about, yeah. but I mean, he like, yeah, there wasn't any games where I just feel like, you know, he was given yards just because like he earned, I think he earned all of those yards and all of those touchdowns as well as right, some of those right. interceptions as well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll kind of take a deeper look into this because this is where I have concerns. And I think this is where I want the stats people for Kirk Cousins to kind of explain. And there are a lot of them. to me and there's a lot of them because stats aren't everything. So uh, through weeks one through 11 and 18th, which the 18th didn't matter. He had a, a amazing stats, 67 completion percentage, 3,224 yards and a 275 per game 24 to 2 touchdown to interception ratio that is awesome the problem with this is week 12 through 16 which were the most important weeks of the season these are the weeks we needed to win games to try to make it into playoffs straight up that's just how it is and completion percentage dropped down to 60 percent yards 239 per game touchdowns nine and interceptions five in these five games he more than doubled his interceptions and when you want a franchise quarterback, these are the games you expect them to step up and carry your team and, and into playoffs, stuff like that. And when the pressure came on to him for these must-win games, 
um, he faltered a bit and and kind of came back down to earth at the right. at the very wrong time. Even though the beginning of the season was so great and he came back, but you know you can't have a quarterback who loses these games like that. And that's the biggest question with him is in in those in those prime time like hard like those spots where you need to win. Can he bring you to it with a perfect team? Sure, good offensive line. I think he can. With you know if things don't go perfect though, as you see in that the end of the season there, it's not you know he he finds. Like he plays well enough to get you excited, but as we talked about previously, and you mentioned it, you always wait for the drop off, and it happened. It happened this mm-hmm. year, and you know it's and, and those are like you said, those are huge games, must win football games, and yeah, and you can't just blame that on the like those are his stats. You can't just blame it on the coaches. Uh, the coaching was inconsistent the entire year, not just those five games. Um, our team wasn't much difference. I guess you could probably say we didn't have Thielen as much. So I'll give him a break for that. But still, I mean, for for him to go and drop off, you know, it really seems to to me that it's kind of more on him, um, yeah. at least to some extent. And I don't think you can just blame the other players and blame the coaches yeah. I mean, on a it, drop it, off like that. It's a bad comparison because Tom Brady's Tom Brady. But Tom Brady yesterday or on uh, on Sunday was playing with Mike Evans and Gronk, sure. But then like three number three receivers – and back up running backs, and he still found a way to get it done in the playoffs. Yeah, their O line was getting hurt, hurt, injured during that game, even. And yeah, there's just it's just different. There's a different mentality. I mean, we've talked He's about Jake Mahomes Kirk starting a. <laughs> yeah, we talked about Mahomes having like an off season in general, and especially in the beginning, and he went out and threw five touchdowns in playoffs. Like that's the kind of mindset you have to have your quarterback to be. And I just. In my opinion, Kirk Cousins doesn't have that mentality, and you're paying $35 million for a quarterback that you need everything to be perfect around him in order to have high success, and that's not worth it. So um, in my opinion, I think we got to – if if I wouldn't mind if we, gotta, we get this new GM and head coach and we keep him for one more year and see how he does under that, but if there's a, a trade or an offer that's – too hard to pass up. I, I think we definitely have to take it because I don't think this guy's going to bring us to a Super Bowl like we'd like to see. Right. And we might as well get what we can out of the, with the, out of him and not have that salary cap going into next season. Definitely. I, I 100% agree with you on that. So uh, since we are doing a little bit of a, of a review here, let's, let's go into this. Give Kirk Cousins a grade. Greatest season. You know, I was disappointed in the uh, – in those five games, but I still have to give him, I'll give him a B minus. Those first games are so good. And in, he does get the stats and he's not a bad quarterback. I just don't think he has that franchise quarterback mentality. Uh, and so I think, I mean, he could go to another team and if they have everything around him, I think he could succeed better than he did with us, but I'll, I'll give him a B minus. Okay. I, I think I'm going to give him a solid B. Just, I mean, I see where you're coming from with B minus. I know I can tell by our conversations. I've always been like this much higher on Kirk than you have, but I <laughs> yeah, see yeah, your yeah. point. I just think, I mean, I, I think you do got to look at the whole body of work. I think he put us in a lot of really good positions early on. Even sometimes later on in the season, he put us in good, good positions as well. But I mean, you can't go any higher than a B because we didn't make the playoffs, and it's just yeah, and he's the Kirk franchise play, quarterback. You know? so, yeah, and yeah. Uh, to add to what you said about you being kind of higher up on him last year. Last season, I was ready to trade him easily. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to trade him for sure. And I, it's honestly because of the beginning of the season and how we've seen him come back and we, in those two minute, uh, in the two minutes and stuff like that was kind of changed my mind about him. I did see growth in him, but, you know, it still came back down to earth a little bit. We still missed the playoffs. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think that's a fair. I think we both really had a fair assessment of the season for Kirk Cousins. So trade Kirk Cousins. Okay. <laughs> with, that, with that being said, leave us a like if you enjoyed the video. Let us know your thoughts on Kirk Cousins' season down in the comments. Give us a grade. Let us know how you thought he played this year. And if, let us know if we should trade him or not. And most importantly, subscribe to GG Sports Podcast here on YouTube. Follow us on our other socials. We will see you guys later on in the week for a grade of Justin Jefferson. Skull Vikes.